Welcome to Watch Therefore, the program designed to help the disciple of Messiah Jesus obey His command to watch therefore and be ready, for you don't know the hour or the day your Lord is coming. Dove Schwartz here at the Sea of Galilee, encouraging everyone who's watching more than ever to watch therefore and be ready. So thankful to be with you once again on our program, Watch Therefore. And once again, we have our special guests. And I'm going to introduce him because there may be some watching who have uh, never seen this special guest before. He's on the program frequently, and he's a, he's a great blessing. He's the CEO of the ministry, Abundant Bread of Salvation. He's our brother and Messiah, Yeshua, here in Israel, Brian Slater. Hallelujah. Welcome back to Watch Therefore. It's a pleasure to be here every time. Oh, man. And today's a new day that God has given us. Amen. Yeah, I say amen as well. And so, Brian, for those of you who have never seen you on the program before, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce um, yourself, your life in Messiah Yeshua, and your ministry here in Israel? Yeah, well, um, I'm, like he already said, CEO of Abundant Bread of Salvation. We're based in Central Israel in the city of Netanya, and we're reaching out to over 400 poor and needy people every month mm -hmm. in practical ways um, with uh, soup kitchen, food bag distribution, uh, visiting the elderly, poor, and needy in their homes, uh, Russian and Ethiopian immigrants that have come home to this prophetic land. Mm -hmm and uh, doing it in the most practical way and sharing with them the, the good news of our Messiah, Yeshua. That's right. That's right. And many of them are even Holocaust survivors. Could you talk for a moment about that? Yes, absolutely. Um, we are very privileged that God has, has called me for such a time as this mm -hmm. to reach these elderly, that uh, these are urgent times to be able to reach them with the good news and with practical help. That's right. And uh, every week we're um, inviting them to come to the soup kitchen mm -hmm. and we're doing special field trips with them and um, <clears throat> even uh, visiting them in their homes, uh, going to the funerals of those that are dying mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I say that because that's part of life is death as well. And those of us that know the Messiah Yeshua We've got eternal life. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. Yes. And this message of life is something that you share along with the practical needs. And uh, our ministry has had the privilege of even partnering with you in these special events with the Holocaust survivors. That's right. And uh, it's been so special. So what are some of the things that are on your heart to share with our viewers today um, that you're involved with? Kind of an update with ABOS, Abundant Bread of Salvation. Yes. Well... You know, we're in the month of February, and this is the month of love, as many of the world likes to celebrate. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> we like to celebrate the love of our Messiah, Yeshua. And another wonderful thing that's happened this month is my birthday. How about that? that Happy God. birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> God gave me life. I'm not going to tell you how many years ago, but he gave me life, and, and uh, God blessed my mother for giving birth to me and, and uh, my father, my earthly parents. And it, this is very symbolic, though. And I, every time that I sit with our poor and needy people and feed them and clothe them and, and do special uh, projects and outreaches with them, I share with them the importance of life Hallelujah. and uh, the physical life that we have here 
is a gift from God. Mm -hmm. Every day and every breath That's that right. we breathe is a gift from God by His grace. That's right. And, and uh, that us as believers in Messiah Yeshua have eternal life through the Messiah Yeshua dying for us. And I'm able to share this with them as well. And so this month being my birthday, I was able to share that in an extra exciting way. You know, um, the Apostle Paul wrote th that we should do everything to the glory of the Lord. And you're even using your birthday for His glory Amen. and to touch precious souls. That's right. Amen. Well, please tell us more. Yes, well, we, um, we are are based uh, everything we do on volunteers and we have an amazing volunteer that's sure. with us for several months and she does visual bible stories and um, we're uh, giving her the opportunity to share these bible stories in in uh, the soup kitchen and and all the outreaches that we do so good and she's going around to different elderly homes in natanya as oh, well nice. uh, el elderly uh, facilities that gather a bunch of elderly people mm -hmm. and also sharing there. And so she's invited myself and my wife to play roles uh, as, as Adam and Eve. Yes. Um, and we've been able to share about how, you know, because of the, the sin and death and eating from the, 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 the tree, the, the fruit from the tree, the forbidden fruit, mm -hmm. that um, our sin was exposed. And it was amazing. We were able to put an apron on with leaves covering ourselves. Wow. And give these elderly people a real visual of mm -hmm. the sinful life. Mm -hmm. And then share with them about how to get back into the tree of life Hallelujah. by knowing Yeshua in our hearts. Yes. And um, so that was an amazing theme that they all experienced. So beautiful. And responded to and had joy in seeing it. And um, another one was me playing Isaac. Abraham sacrificed his son, wanted to sacrifice his son Isaac. The Lord commanded him to, yeah. Yes, and the Lord provided a um, replacement sacrifice of the, the, the sheep or the lamb being caught in a thicket. Sure. And um, that was just amazing. I was lying on the floor uh, almost being uh, lit on fire, and um, and Abraham, uh, he had a, a lighter in his hand and a knife in the other hand, and the Lord provided this lamb, and we were able to share how God provided the sacrifice in Yeshua oh, for hallelujah. us. The resurrection and it was of Messiah so Yeshua. awesome. The death, burial, and resurrection of Messiah Yeshua, yeah. and He died on the cross for our sins. The cross for His death was the tree of life for us. Yes? That's right. The Bible says he died on the tree. He died on yeah. the tree. Well, with just a couple minutes left in our segment, and it's going so fast because it's so good, yeah. would you share with our viewers how they can participate prayerfully, financially, whatever's on your heart that you'd like to share with them with this important, fruitful ministry? There's people watching who would like to lay their treasures up in heaven, I'm sure. Yes. Well, um, you guys can go, please, to our website, AbundantBread.com. And um, there's so many uh, pictures on there, video clips, and our newsletter, our monthly newsletter. You can mm -hmm. also send us an email mm -hmm. to sign up for our monthly newsletter. Um, you can, um, but like Dove said, you know, sowing into this urgent kingdom work That's right. while these people are still alive and yes. we're able to reach them. Such a blessing. So we need your prayers mm -hmm. because we're on the front lines here in Israel and, and in where I live, we're on the front lines of the Mediterranean Sea. Email us if you're interested in volunteering and uh, thank you so much for your prayers and support. Brian, I think it's so important that they do sign up for the newsletters because then they have something in their hands or on their email to pray along with. They have updates and things like that. I think it's real important. Now, we're about out of time. I just want to thank you for being with us on the program My today. Pleasure. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing. And what a way to watch, therefore, folks, to watch for the coming of Messiah Yeshua and participating in this kind of kingdom work. This is the kind of life where we'll stand before the Lord 
and we'll hear those words, well done, my good and faithful servant. Oh, Amen? Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Remember to watch their form. Be ready. Messiah Yeshua is coming for us any moment. Our Messiah Jesus commanded his followers to go and make disciples. And we're confident in him that the Watch Therefore message is helping to make faithful servant disciples all over the world as the Watch Therefore television program is now seen in over 200 countries, potentially in 200 million homes. Join with us as we help others learn to watch therefore and be ready. Along with our Watch Therefore television ministry, we also have our ministries blessing Israeli believers and poured out for the nations, according to Romans 1.16, that tells us to take the gospel to the Jew first, blessing Israeli believers, and then to the nations, poured out for the nations. Blessing Israeli believers was co-founded by our ministry partner, John McTurnan, and myself as we partner with Israeli believers in Messiah Jesus to be a shining light in Israel and then to the nations with our ministry poured out for the nations through which we take the gospel, discipleship, the Watch Therefore message to many countries in Africa and other places as well. Now let me tell you one of the best ways to follow along with what's going on in these ministries is through our, through our newsletters, Blessing Israeli Believers and Poured Out for the Nations. You can sign up for our monthly newsletters. Go to our website watchtherefore.tv and sign up with the newsletter so you can know how to pray and partner with this ministry. I'm going to talk to you about prayer and financial support for our ministries, but first let me say this. If you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please do not send any money into this program. It's our desire that you would be our guest and receive Messiah Jesus as your Savior and Lord. But for those who want to participate, you don't want to just be a spectator, but a participant. You can pray and give and help us in our kingdom work. We can partner together in getting out the Watch Therefore message, blessing Israeli believers in Messiah Jesus and partnering with them and going to the nations with the gospel and discipleship in the Watch Therefore message. There's three primary ways that you can financially partner. You can give to the Watch Therefore television media. If you enjoy this program and are glad it's on the air in your area, you can help keep it on by praying and also sending in your financial support. Also, as you give, you can give to Blessing Israeli Believers and then also our ministries poured out for the nations as you support our gospel and discipleship work in the nations. Go to watchtherefore.tv, find out more details, or you can send in a check and you can see on the screen how you can give by post. I encourage all of our viewers to get a copy of my new book, Activate the Blessings of the Abraham Covenant. With a donation of any amount, we'll send you a copy of Activate the Blessings of the Abraham Covenant. It's important that you put ATB in the notes section, either online or in the memo section of your check. Use the information on the screen there. This book will help you experience in greater measure the blessings the Lord has for you in this critical hour. A quick missions update regarding my most recent trip to Burundi and Rwanda in Africa. In some ways, it was my best trip ever. And I'm gonna be sharing more about this in future programs, but I know some of you were prayerfully and financially partnering with me on this trip, which is one of the reasons it was so successful, certainly. And I just wanna tell you, thank you. Oh, our King Jesus was glorified. So many were saved, and we even saw people healed and touched in unique ways that I'll be sharing, like I said, in future programs. We have video and all kinds of good stuff, but I couldn't wait to at least give you a little bit of an update and say, oh, hallelujah, and thank you to our viewers who are partnering with us. What a great way to watch Therefore and be ready, taking the gospel and discipleship to Africa. Welcome back to Watch Therefore. At this time, I'm going to introduce a passage from the New Testament book of 1 Thessalonians. And we're going to jump in at the middle of where Paul is commending 
and encouraging the Thessalonian disciples of Messiah Jesus. We'll start in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became examples to all in Macedonia and Achaia who believe. So these disciples of Messiah Jesus are under great persecution, yet they have the joy of the Holy Spirit. And it's important to understand that today there is more persecution and even martyrdom regarding disciples of Messiah Jesus than ever before in history. And, and they are examples for us today. Many of us who have less persecution and more of the world's stuff in a comfortable life and also have less of the joy of the Holy Spirit. Interesting, yes? Let's continue. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place. Your faith toward God has gone out so that we do not need to say anything. You see, their gospel and discipleship witness has spread and is a great light in their generation. That's what we want to be able to say, that our gospel witness, our discipleship in Messiah Jesus is spreading and lifting up the name of Messiah Jesus, that he might draw precious souls to himself. Now, listen to this summary that has two primary points. Listen to this summary of their testimony. For they themselves declare concerning us what manner of entry we had to you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. They turned from idolatry to serve the living and true God. And think of this, beginning from Lucifer, who became Satan, to let's say King Nebuchadnezzar, we're studying in our Bible study at this time in my home, we're, we're studying the book of Daniel, and there's King Nebuchadnezzar uh, who set up an idol for all to worship. And, and down all the way from there to our society today, think of humanism. Humanism that says man is at the center of everything, which starts even in schools with little children teaching them that we descended from animals. Yes, and that we are the pinnacle of evolution, mankind, and are to be worshipped. We are the center of everything. Even to each of us individually, we naturally want it to be about us individually. That's because of our sin nature that is harnessed by Satan and his demons. And you know, there's that saying uh, for disciples of Messiah Jesus, one of the first things we need to understand is, it's not about you. It's not about me. Well, idolatry is satanic, and it makes a way for us to establish what is God and what is to be worshiped. And I'm so thankful that even when I was a little boy, the Lord began putting people in my life to tell me, it's not about you. I had an aunt that would, would say to me, she would call me out, she'd say, the world does not revolve around you. Yeah, maybe the Lord put someone like that in your life early on as well. Well, Satan worshiped himself and he wanted others to worship him. And the God of self, the idol of self, is the worst idol of all. Regarding King Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel, what did he make an idol after? Himself. And that's what he wanted others to fall down and worship. It is satanic. Let's look at some of these verses that corroborate these things. In 1 John 5, 19, we know that we are of God and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Matthew 4, 8, Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Think of the insanity of Satan wanting God the Son, the Son of God, to fall down and worship him. That's what idolatry does. That's what this kind of satanic 
way of thinking and behaving is. It's, it's insane, folks. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 14 uh, and 15. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to wise men. Judge for yourselves what I say. And in that same chapter, down to verse beginning verse 19, what am I saying then? That an idol is anything? Or what is offered to idols is anything? Rather, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. So moving on, what is the second primary summary point that Paul speaks of, writes of, with regard to the Thessalonian disciples of Messiah Jesus? Well, we're going to read verse 9 again, and then we'll see it in verse 10 as we go forward. For they themselves declare concerning us what manner of entry we had to you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. They were watching for the rapture. They had the watch therefore message, folks. They were watching for the rapture that Paul then reminds them of and brings clarity for those grieving over loved ones who had passed away in Messiah Jesus. 1 Thessalonians beginning uh, in chapter 4, verse 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as those who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, Comfort one another with these words. Here's a question. Is their summary your story? Have you turned away from worshiping idols, including the idol of yourself? Think of this with me. When you turn away from it being about you in the center of everything being you, or when I do that, when I turn away from myself, I am free. The chains are broken then. To do what? To keep the two greatest commandments our Savior spoke of. And frankly, if we're not doing these two, nothing else is going to be right with the Lord. We have to get right with God frequently about this very issue. Why? He says, love the, the, the most important commands. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And as we turn away from ourselves being the, what it, the, the, the object of worship, we're free then to love, to love the Lord and to love people. Yes, there's that old acronym of the word joy, Jesus first, others second, you last, yes? And that's where we have the joy of the Holy Spirit. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Messiah Jesus. He said that's the only way for his disciples. And here's the second part of the summary. Is this your story? Are you watching for the rapture? Are you getting ready like our Savior commanded? And that's why we have a program that's called Watch Therefore and Be Ready. And, and maybe you're watching today and you say, well, that's not my story. And, and maybe it's because you've never been saved. Maybe you need to repent, turn away from it being about you for the very first time. And you need to humble yourself. And, and Messiah Jesus said, you need to repent and believe in the gospel. Turn away from your way. Turn away from your um, idolatrous thinking. Turn away from your self-life and receive Jesus as your Savior. Turn away from your sins. Repent. And believe that he died on the cross for your sins. He was buried on the third day. Hallelujah. He rose from the grave. Receive him as your Savior. Become one of, of his children, the children of God. And, and follow him. You can do that even now. You can take that first step now by praying from the bottom of your heart. Oh, Lord Jesus, 
I've sinned against you. I've sinned against God our Father in heaven. I've sinned against many people. I want to repent today. I want to turn away from my sins and receive you. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and you rose again. I want to follow you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And if, if you're crying out to him now to be saved like that, there's information at the bottom of your screen. Please contact us. We want to send you some free information to help you begin your new life in Messiah Jesus. And for everybody who's watching today, this is so important. And we live in a kind of a church, in a, uh, um, a congregational environment where it's real easy to get into religion and, and, and worship ourselves and not even know it. Yeah? And so take stock today. Take inventory today. And may the summary of the Thessalonian disciples of Messiah Jesus be our story that we turned away from idols, especially the idol of self. Yes? to follow and believe in and, and, and love and trust the true and living God and to watch for this Savior Jesus to come for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Oh, Father in heaven, in Messiah Jesus' name, for all of our viewers today, for all of us, Lord, we want to turn away from the self-life and the worship of self. We want to deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow you, Lord Jesus. Help us to do that. Help us to be ready when you come for us, that all of our viewers that are watching today, that we would hear from you, Lord Jesus. Well done, thy good and faithful servant, when you come for us. Thank you, Father, in Messiah Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's so important that we follow this Savior all the way and that we live for him all the way. And I pray that the program has blessed you tremendously today. And remember, go to watchtherefore.tv. So important, such good stuff for you there. And as we close out our program today, here's how we like to do it. Watch therefore and be ready. Messiah Jesus is coming for us. When? Any moment. Watch therefore. Thank you for watching the program today. Watch Therefore is sponsored by the friends and partners of Watch Therefore Ministries. In future programs, we'll have many more Watch Therefore teachings from the Bible, worship, and exciting interviews with our believing partners in Israel and around the world. Please contact us at doveforisrael at gmail.com. That's D-O-V-F-O-R. I-S-R-A-E-L at gmail.com. And if you would like to subscribe to our newsletter, you can fill out a contact form on the website watchtherefore.tv. We also have audio programs available on our website watchtherefore.tv. We are on social media since it is a great tool to share the gospel and communicate with one another. You can also find us there at watchtherefore.tv. Until next time, we're watching for King Jesus to return. Watch therefore and be ready. We know he came. The lamb who was slain, he'll come again. Our conquering king on that day. His sword will go forth to take back and restore.